What's up guys, Sinister Games here, and uh, today we're going to be covering Survivors. I totally understand why people get confused on this. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on it of people trying to explain it. If y'all guys are squeaking in the background, by the way, and my mic sounds like shit, I'm sorry. Uh, this, i just been having problems with the mic. I messed with the settings on my... Uh, I, messed, I just messed with the settings of the mic, and now it just sounds weird. I need to fix it, but just mind with me. I've seen a lot of videos, people think this is very confusing, it's actually very simple, there's three categories you gotta look into, um, two main categories, and then the third one is just a bonus, that's why it's called a bonus, um, but yeah, let's go right into it, let's see if I can explain this to y'all, make it as easy as possible, and try to explain it to y'all as fast as possible too. Alright, so obviously you're not gonna have nowhere near, a nowhere near as much survivors as I do here if you're a new player. Maybe you might have more than me if you're a, a good player, but in, in that case, you're why are you watching this video? You probably already know what to do. But if you're a new player, which most of you probably are if you found this video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to actually organize and put your survivors in the correct spot so you can max your power level every time. Alright guys, the first category we're going to talk about is lead survivors. Now, each of these have lead survivors, each of these squads, and I believe there are eight squads, and the squads are EMT, Firing Team, Gadgeteers, Corpse of Engineering, Training Team, Close Assault, Scouting Party, and Think Tank. Each of these have their own specific needs for a specific leader. Now, the EMT squad requires a doctor, Fire Team Alpha requires a marksman, uh, Gadgeteers requires, I think, an inventor. No, no, the inventor is Think Tank, but y'all you know, get the point. And each of them are labeled by their own logo. Now, the EMC squad has, you know, the doctor sign. Marks the fire team alpha has uh, a crosshair. Ga uh, Gadgeteers, they have a a gear. Close assault right here that I'm on has like a uh, a boxing glove, and so on. You know. So, right now I'm clearing out my survivors to show y'all guys my, me putting these survivor squads together. As you can see, I was power level 131. I moved all my survivors and now I am power level 53. That shows y'all guys the importance of survivors if y'all guys want to get a high power level. Y'all need to get these survivors straight. Now, let me go ahead and start putting them together and uh, show y'all guys what I'm talking about. The reason why I'm power level 53, even though I have no survivors, is because of those researches, those research points that I just showed you. I had them all maxed out. But now let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay guys, I'm gonna show y'all guys the difference whenever you put a the right, the right lead survivor and the wrong lead survivor. So whenever I get into this and I put in the correct one, which is a doctor, I get 270 points. Remember, all these guys, okay, every survivor that I'm working with is max level right now. You can't make them any higher level. So I get 270 score to my power level. Therefore, it brings me up to power level 56. If I put the wrong one in there, same level, they're both a level 50, it only gives me 135 points. That is significantly less. I actually get double the amount of points towards my power score whenever I put the correct one in there. That shows you guys the importance of the lead survivor. I'm actually going to go ahead and fill in all of the leads real quick and uh, I'll get back to y'all when I'm done. Okay, I'm just now finishing. I have all my lead survivors full. You know, they all have matching. They're, they're in the correct spot. Now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, starting on the second category, guys. Second category is personality. As you can see, my doctor's personality there was analytical. So therefore, I'm going to have to put analytical survivors in his squad. So if I put a wrong survivor in there, I get actually 10 less points than I normally would if I put the correct personality in there. So as you can see, I'm about to demonstrate that right now. Whenever I put this, um, the correct one in there, I get 138 points to my power score, uh, to my power level. And whenever I put the wrong one in there, I only get 128 power score. And that is... A small difference but it adds up whenever you're when you're thinking of all your survivor squads added together and all the survivors in a squad um, it just it adds up so you want to have your personality matching with your lead survivor at all times all your survivors in that squad must match with their leader so each of the squads are gonna have a different leader with a different personality and 
preferably you want them to all have a different personality you might have a leader you might have two different leaders you might have a, a doctor and a martial artist that have the same personality and that is okay as long as you have enough survivors to fill their squads but if you don't the goal is to have each of the leaders with different personalities that way you can have enough survivors to go around for each squad all right now we are on the third and final category the, possibly the least important category until your end game and you have a stupid collection of survivors but basically what this third squad is is a bonus and that exact that's exactly what it's called it's called a set bonus now you see how this character has a set bonus of health now if I get the bonus I get an extra 5% of health which is very nice um, each there I, I don't know how many uh, different set bonuses there are but I do know that if you want a perfect squad you want to be able to get you know everything perfect you need a set bonus that costs two survivors twice so you need two of those set bonuses and then you need one set bonus that costs three you won't be able to fit in two two set bonuses that cost three because then you'll have one survivor left over and you won't be able to complete the set bonus and you won't be able to do all three um, set uh, sets of two set bonuses because those will still leave a survivor left over so you need uh, set bonuses that take two and then one that takes three so if that make if that made zero sense to y'all if you're looking at this right now I'm gonna zoom in on this my health bonus it says two out of two that means I had two health bonus survivors in there therefore completing that set bonus and uh, I'm about to put in one that takes three so ability damage this one right here says one out of three so I need three survivors to actually activate that set bonus I need three survivors with that set bonus now I have two out of three I gotta put one more in there and if y'all guys you know y'all could put this together yourselves y'all put it in there see I put this one in there I have two free slots therefore I have enough slots to activate another bonus that only requires two survivors therefore I can't add another three like uh, I can't add another ability damage because that one requires three survivors I hope I explained that well I couldn't think of any other better way to explain it I'm sorry guys if that was confusing but like I said this bonus is very is probably the least important until your end game player and by that time you should understand how these work and as you see I put a perfect squad and you're not always gonna have a perfect squad as you see at the end of this video I don't have a perfect squad now we're gonna talk about my method on leveling up uh, right here I'm just showing you guys I put the mythic even though she didn't have the correct personality and the reason I did that is because as you can see she gives me a higher, a higher power score like a higher power level score because she's mythic that's the only reason why I put her there and also because I really have nowhere else to put her because none of my other squads have adventurous as I'm going through right now you see none of them have adventurous you can also see none of my squads are perfect they don't need to be perfect like I said the the only thing that really matters is the personality and the leader the set bonuses they are very very nice to have and very helpful to have they are not necessary though if you're only going for high power level with that said let's go ahead and move on to the method so for this method for this method I like to uh, make my lead survivor a uh, full tier above my survivors my normal survivors these guys and uh, when I do that what I do is if I'm starting off at level 1 and you know I filled up these survivors which I know you can't you gotta unlock the slots but I have all my survivors there so what I would do is try to get my all my um, so when I were looking at level we're not looking at power level we're looking at level the level is right there on the card I'm gonna zoom in on it right here right there that's what I'm talking about when I say level 50 when you heard me say it before in the video so I make my lead survivor level 10 and all the other guys are gonna be level 0 for now then once I have all my lead survivors as 10 from every squad then I evolve them and I make them level 20 then I go to my survivors and make them all level 10 they're you know they're they're 10 levels below all the time because I want to prioritize the lead survivors this method is not the best it it honestly it's a, it's a method not everyone has 26 million survivor XP like I do this method is to help you conserve and spend your survivor XP wisely and 
for me i found this to be the best way to do it there's probably better ways out there if you if you know the video's over you don't want to hear me explain myself which i mean i've kind of already explained it you know if my lead survivor is level 30 my all my other survivors are going to be level 20 and eventually my lead survivor is going to be level 50 so i'm going to need a uh that's max level i'm going to need to make the survivors level 40 then 50 and that's what i do pretty much the entire way just going up and that's how i got uh to power level 131 that's how i did it it worked out for me uh now i just need to worry about getting enough survivors to try to make my survivor squads perfect and like i said it's not necessary to do it i just want to do it uh well that's pretty much all there is to survivors guys um thanks for watching uh if you like this video and have anything else y'all guys want me to talk about slash explain which is pretty much the same thing i don't know why i said that but y'all got anything else y'all have questions on just let me know i'll see if i can answer them make a video on them uh if it's an easy question you know i'll try to make it as fast as possible survivors is kind of a tricky subject to explain that's kind of why this video is 11 minutes long i was hoping to make it shorter than 10 minutes because i know everyone thinks like oh 10 minutes isn't that but i'm not even getting paid yet guys this video just happened to be 11 minutes long um but yeah i hope you guys you know enjoyed the video and i hope y'all learned something if y'all didn't learn anything let me know in comments ask me any questions y'all have and i will try my best to answer y'all guys in the comments below leave a like subscribe if you want more videos like this y'all gotta give me things to help y'all with because i can't make content if no one wants to ask a question all right guys peace out